This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Blueface is new to Snapchat and he is still currently locked up. And today he did his first question and answer on Snapchat. He speaks on the internet being boring without him, says he hasn't been in any tussles, speaks on what he misses the most, says he has a personal chef, and he was asked one of the questions that is most talked about on the internet. He was asked, he was asked, what do you miss the most being inside? So here is Blueface's Snapchat. Just in case you guys want to go follow him, he is now at 64 thousand followers he is now verified all right blue so are you in pc no so i'm not pc i'm currently in high power okay uh what is the difference between pc hp and gp um pc is a protective custody that's pretty much when you are opting to tell the jail to protect you from the jail pretty much uh, You've already given up your street or gang affiliation and decided to go the, the square route with things. There's nothing wrong with it. Cut that off. Um, HP stands for high power. High power is basically when you are in general population and you're doing things like uh, you can cut with a knife, do something to the police, you can do something to one of the inmates. It's pretty much jail inside of jail. So that's what I'm in. High power. Um, the general population is basically you just, when you first come to jail, they just throw you in, in the general population um, amongst everybody. You know, two man cell, four man cell. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the difference though. PC, they shower on different days. HP, we shower on different days. We're not allowed, allowed to interact with each other or be around each other for conflicts of interest. So, this is very interesting, and I'm really happy that he cleared all of this up basically told us what all of these different things meant because there was a rumor going around that he was in PC. And if you all will remember, his brother Dre was pretty much freaking out, thinking that something had happened to him. So I hope that Dre was able to see this Q&A to hear for himself that Blueface is okay. So the next question, Question that the fans wanted to know is: Were Tory Lanes and Soldier Boy in PC? Uh, yeah, they were. They were actually. Um, but on Tory Lanes, we have Tory Lanes has always been a you know a recording artist, a professional. You know, he's never really um, put on a on any type of street or any type of gang activity. So with all dude, he, he's perfectly like you know. So it's nothing wrong with him doing it, but Soldier Boy, on the other hand, you know, he could have been and yeah, he was over there. So, is there any other celebrities in there with you, Blue? Uh, actually, yeah. There's um, this producer named Detail. Um, I guess he got something to do with something. I don't know. There's this call is being recorded. Producer named Detail. Uh, I think Polo G's brother is here, around here somewhere. Uh, that's all I can think of on top of my head. Sorry, Lance, I just left right when I just came in. So, have you gotten ever gotten in a fight since you've been there? <laughs> I can't say that I'm surprised at what he had to say about Tory Lanez. Uh, yeah, that he was in PC. Not surprised at all. What about you guys? Are you guys surprised? Uh, I wouldn't say no fights. I've had a few little altercations, few you know, disagreements with opposing people who don't agree with what I agree with. I may not agree with what they agree with. The interviewer is doing a really great job in interviewing Blueface, but I want to know a little bit more about these few little altercations. Maybe his next Q&A, he'll get into that more about these little altercations. And I want to know which one of these little altercations made him end up in the hole. Fair enough. Um, why did you set up a fight with Annalie Chapa if you were going to go to jail? Oh, 
yeah, that's a good one. Um, basically, I called his bluff. I knew I was going to jail, and I know he didn't really want to fight. He just wanted to promote his little rap songs or whatnot. So what I did was I created a flyer, posted it, and just as I suspected, I knew he would back out and basically tell everybody that he really didn't want to do that, you know, instead of having the perfect excuse to keep going to jail and the fight not being able to happen. So I just played poker with him, you know, called his bluff, made a poll. Yeah. In the worst case, I would have I would have just trained in here. We would have fought after I got out. Mm -hmm. If he did bluff or he did poll. Oh my God. So many of you called this. So many of you told me in the comment section that NLE Choppa did not want to tussle with Blueface. But here it is. Like, you guys were right. Okay, I'm going to give it to you guys. You guys were right about that. So I guess when he gets out, this is not going to happen. This tussle will not happen. These two will not be in a boxing ring. <laughs> but I honestly thought that whole thing with him and NLE was just so silly. Right. <laughs> yeah. How are the guards treating you in there, Blue? Oh, man, it's, um, it's a little up and down, man. There's some of them fuck with me, some of them don't, but they keep hitting me with the same excuse. And I've had my cell search probably four times. They always show up, a bunch of guards outside the cell, tell me not to move, get out. And they basically just tear up my cell. They keep saying, I don't know. Same excuse, but it's cool, though. I'm clean. I ain't tripping. And here is the question, the controversial question. The interviewer is asking Blueface, what do you miss most being inside? So we're expecting him to say he miss Jaden or he miss Krishan the most or he miss his kids the most. But like I said, this is very controversial. So and he said he missed Krishan's blank and I had to mute it. But he said he misses Krishan's blank. And he said he missed his kids as well. What do you miss the most being inside, bro? I miss Krishan Rocks. For sure. Um, and my kids as well, you know? Yeah. Of course. Gotta miss his kids. Yeah, of course. Man, oh man. I am so nosy. I would love to listen in on one of Blueface and Krishan's jail calls. And have you made any friends um, while you've been inside? And if, show, if so, do you want to shout them out? Oh, yeah, man. I've made a, a lot of great relationships in here. Um, you know, different gangs, different races. I want to start by shouting out uh, my nigga B Max from Fire Do Silver. That's my chef, man. He's cooking it up. Got him on the payroll. You already know how that go. Uh, shout out my nigga Baby Thirsty. Six up, man. I've been him in the hole. Um, I'll bump you right now. His name is Break Bread from Brent. Hey, Break Bread, the big guy, King Street. You can dug him right here for a minute. Uh, one of my essay partners, his name is uh, Stomper from 106 and King Street. Shout out, man. Give me a shot. I got to chill a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, you get Kills. Kills from Hunter. He was on the case of Jacob. Shout out to Bro. He's been helping me, Jim. Sure. Day one, he sent me a lot of stuff that I didn't know I was going to get until I needed it. I don't want to forget nobody. Oh, yeah, shout out my boy, uh, Fifo from PPL. 750, dang, to be exact. That's my guy right there, man. Um, who else? I don't want to forget nobody. Oh, yeah, uh, Lil Suspect, aka Kevin. Trey Fofo. Man, that guy is entertainment. He really, he can jail with me. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? This call is being recorded. I don't want to forget nobody. I'm right here with T Blue from PJs, man. He, he be happy, be cool. He be chilling with me. Uh, I want to forget none of my close friends that I made real memorable relationships with. So last but not least, I will say, oh yeah, shout out my boy Head Tom from Six O. Cool, cool. And uh, Minutes from Linux. Last but not least, Minutes from Linux, man. All those guys right there, they been right here showing me the ropes. You know, helping me chill. It's my first time. So, it's a whole different world right here, man. It's not like what I'm used to. Shout out to those guys, man. Freedom guys. Blue, another question. How's the food inside there? Oh, man, it's terrible. Good thing I got a chef, though. I got a chef, though, man. If I were a food brand or if I had a restaurant... I would be in Krishan's inbox or Blue Faces inbox 
on Instagram or even Snapchat, trying to arrange a way for him to have some of your food so he can post it on his social media because he's talking about how terrible the food is. So this would be a good marketing strategy right there. So that's what I would do if I had a restaurant or something, try to get your food to him when he gets out. I get food, I have to him, and he eats it with us every time. I mean, good, you know, burritos, quesadillas, nachos, pizza. Shout out my chef, he's back, man. I do so for free that man. He didn't do it. You know, I'm a little bougie right here, you know. I got me a personal chef, so I don't even eat spurs, man. The guy needs grilled and hot. But I had a few spurs, I don't, I'm not really into cold food like that, so spread is not my favorite. Fair enough. And, you know, Blue, is there anything else you want to say to the fans, uh, you know, while you're still in there and before you get out? Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to all the fans. Appreciate all y'all's support. So, y'all waiting on me, man. I've been hearing great things, great things about how um, learning the internet is without me. I appreciate all of that. Just keep, uh, keep my name alive. You already know. What's day, day. <laughs> Well, that was the perfect way to end the interview. What do you guys think about Blueface's first question and answer from jail? I'm understanding that there's going to be more of these. So if you were the person interviewing Blueface, what question would you have asked? Definitely put that in my comment section. Let me know what you thought about this interview. I am now on Snapchat. So if you're on Snapchat, please follow me or please add me. I am new over there and I'm just trying to build up my following. Also follow Blueface on Snapchat. Krishan is on Snapchat. She has over a million, I think 1.1 million followers over there. So definitely follow me, follow them as well. And thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.